everybody. I am so happy. Thank you for the wonderful reception. I really like to hear that. There's nothing I like better than a good, happy audience. And I'm so glad you're here. And that really pleases me. But before I really begin to tell, uh, by the way, my name is Louisa Arnold. And uh, they call me a stand-up comedian. I'm not so sure I'm always standing up. But once in a while, it happens. Uh, on my way here, I. Uh, I, I always think that the things that happen in real life are the funniest ones. Well, on the way here, I had a short stop to make, and I'm parking my car. By the way, I have a very unusual license plate. It's Oy Vey, and I've had it for years, uh, and, and most people know what it means, and it's funny, etc. Well, anyway, I'm parking my car, and a woman comes up to me, and she's kind of juggling me around here and here and here. And I, I really don't know why she's so interested, but I finally get parked, and she comes and opens the door, and she says to me, I love your license plate. Oy vey, that is the cutest plate I've ever seen. That's just darling. And she says, what a coincidence. Because my son just started taking Spanish in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, the, the, the real things that happen in life are often the funniest. Uh, oh, by the way, I can get into trouble any place, any place. You know, I went into Macy's the other day, and I needed the restroom, so I went to the restroom, and I get to the toilet, and there's a sign on it, and it says, toilet out of order. Please use floor below. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and then, then I had to stop at the laundromat to pick up uh, uh, my bedspread and all that, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, I get to the machine, and it says, when red light goes off, please remove all your clothes. So I did. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I just get into trouble wherever I go. By the way, um, I have recently that furniture disease. Did any, does anybody else know about the furniture disease? Well, it's when, you, you have to be a certain age to have this, by the way. It's when your chest falls into your drawers. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I, my little grandson came to me the other day, and he said, Grandma, how old are you? And I said, well, I'm 90. And he said, and did you start with one? <laughs> He, he just couldn't believe that. Well, uh, uh, other things I do, as I said, I get into trouble any place. I went to bed last night, and as I was climbing into bed, I heard a voice say, you're drunk. I said, what do you mean I'm drunk? How do you know I'm drunk? And the man said, you live next door. <laughs> Well, you know, you can have fun wherever you go when you have the right attitude. But it has been wonderful being here with you, and you are an absolutely fantastic audience. And I thank you for being here.